Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, and today I want to show how to adjust the trackpad sensitivity on a MacBook uh, by uh, making an adjustment with a screwdriver to the the screw underneath the trackpad that uh, that uh, controls such things. Um, so what happens often on a MacBook is the button will go kind of soft, and you can see may or may not be able to see. I'm trying to click on this icon here, but if I click with the extreme left side of the trackpad, it's not depressing, it's not selecting the icon. If I click towards the center, then it starts to work, but you know, it just requires a little too much pressure, that sort of thing. So um, this can happen just naturally in the course of time. Uh, sometimes you'll get a battery that uh, has gone bad and it becomes swollen and so it will press on the underside of the trackpad and it will cause it to go sort of out of alignment. Uh, sometimes the trackpad will crack and it will need to be replaced but when you put in the replacement uh, it will need an adjustment to the screw in addition, addition to just being replaced, that sort of thing. So um, what I usually do is I keep, you have to, you have to take the bottom of the machine off. This is a white unibody but other machines uh, are similar. So you have to take the bottom of the machine off. You have to take the battery out generally on most models because the battery covers up the trackpad. Um, so I've already done that. Uh, my preferred method to adjust the screw is to have the machine on as you can see because that way you can test it as you adjust the screw. So the screw, hopefully you can see this, is right here. And generally it takes a small torque screwdriver. Um, other machines, with other machines, it will take a, uh, uh, a tri-wing. Uh, you know, Apple always makes it interesting by requiring, you know, various different types of screwdrivers. Uh, but, you know, you can, you can look up what it is on, uh, you know, ifixit.com probably has, uh, will probably give you an indication of what uh, screwdriver is required for your uh, particular model. I rec recommend buying the iFixit uh, screwdriver kit. They sell one for about $30. It basically has all the bits you could ever want. A uh, really, really good deal. So anyway, uh, what I do is I put the screwdriver in there and then, let's see if I can do this without screwing up. Um, then I go like that so that I'm, I'm both able to adjust and try clicking on things at the same time. And what you want to do is just turn the screwdriver slightly. Now, it's you don't want to do like whole turns. Uh, it, it, it literally is about a quarter turn worth of space that uh, encompasses the entire range of clickiness, I guess you could call it. Um, so you just want to turn it very slightly. And, you know, at, at a certain point, it won't click at all. And then you'll start to notice the click sound become, uh, and the and the feel become uh, more uh, pronounced. And so that's pretty, basically it. Now I'm clicking at the extreme left end of the button, and it is working. So I just you know, I just happened to kind of get it right there. You might have to adjust it a few times and then, you know, try it out. Um, one thing to keep in mind too, is that sometimes the battery will uh, affect this. So you put the battery back in and then you notice that it's, uh, you know, the, the problem is, is back. Often that is the battery. If you look at a battery and um, notice that it's, kind of swollen on one side, it can even be a slight swelling, um, then that is probably a bad battery. Some third-party batteries are, are made badly uh, such that they just, you know, are a little bit thicker when they shouldn't be. Uh, so that's something to, to, to check if this uh, procedure is unsuccessful. Uh, you might want to, you know, try a different battery or an OEM battery, or you might just, uh, need to do the adjustment a little more. Sometimes it takes a few tries before you can get it right. Um, anyway, though, hope that helps, and I'll talk to you soon. Again, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated, rdklinc.com. Thanks a lot.